Hello. What's happening, everybody? We are finally live here. Man, it's like we have we put new batteries in our lights, so it's like we have headlights in our face. Uh, let's see. We have a couple people here. Uh, it looks like we're about 15, so that's cool. Hey, oh, hey did guys. you guys enjoy the music? I put some music on for you, so you had something to listen to. You didn't just sit there and stare at your screen. Uh, that was Mr. Kitty. If anybody was wondering, he is awesome. Uh, it's much better because um, for us because my son loves saying, "Oh my God, Daddy, Mr. Kitty, so awesome." So he loves Mr. Kitty. All right, so we went out today. We hit Box Lunch, Hot Topic, Barnes and Noble, GameStop, Fye. Am I missing anything, Heather? Funko Shop. And Funko Shop, but that doesn't really matter, does it? Nope, because we can't talk about it. That's right. We can't talk. Well, we can talk about it. Well, we, we can talk we about can talk it, about but it. we can't show about it. Yeah. Yeah, we ordered on FunkoShop.com, we ordered Gil, and uh, he's pretty awesome. He is. He, he's very cool. He looks like a creature from, like, an old horror movie. So, here's where we're at. We have a lot. We have a lot of pops to show you. A lot. And we're going to unbox every single one right before your eyes. Yes! It's going to be so awesome! Um, I don't know how to do this. Um, let's see. I'm just going to choose one. You choose one, I'll choose one, and we'll open them together. I think okay. that's the best route to go. Yeah, because otherwise it's going to take forever. We have, how many did we count? 12 things to unbox, pop-wise, and something that is not a pop. Um, so 13. Yeah, we, well, yeah, we have something that's not a, in the pop uh, or Funko family, really. Um, I'll, show, I'll show you right off the bat what it is. I got this guy. This is a Red Skull from the Marvel 10 Years Legend series. Uh, found him on, on uh, GameStop. So I decided to go out and buy him uh, today while I was out. He is awesome. Uh, from A big help from my friend TJ. So we're going to open this up and uh, we'll check it out in front of all of you guys. How's that? Does that sound good? All right. So, Heather, why don't you grab a pop? I'll grab a pop. New subs are here. This is great. Thank you guys for uh, for joining us and, and for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hopefully you guys were able to go over to sydneyasaurus.com and take a look at the uh at the, the benefit the great benefit for a little sydney go if you haven't done it go check it out heather why don't you choose a pop and we'll open them up together so why don't i chose chose uh, yeah I'm, I'm it sounded like in. you said choose and i know chose. well i'll show you what i have oh. it's iron man mark one hey, why don't you turn that light down a little bit because I... we're not going to get any glare because it's going to come out of the box uh, yeah, yeah but it's still really bright and hurt my eyes and Okay, how's that? Is that better? I just I want them so. to be able to see it. It's I, great. Well, they can see so, it. So pick a pop, Heather. What do, you, what do you got? Oh, I know. No. You're, oh, you're no. not going for that. Okay. Um, All I'm right. going to go in the same, in the same. The rain, do, uh, same realm? I'm going to do this guy. He won uh, Barnes & Noble this morning. Yes, he's awesome. He's very cool. <laughs> he's going to be the only pop that shits. Uh, <laughs> oh, I almost cursed. That what? He sits on the, sh on the shelf for a very long time. I think that's what's going to happen with him. Um, because he didn't seem very popular. There were a ton there when we left. He wasn't very popular. Popular. <laughs> so, here is Mark 1, Iron Man. Look at him. Isn't he so cool? Like his head's bobbling all over the place. He is really cool. Uh, I like this guy a whole lot. He, he, uh, he should have been made a long time ago, in my opinion. I'm glad they finally got around to making him for this whole Marvel 10 years that they're doing now. But that backpack is really cool. He has like a whole bunch of little gadgets back there. I, I like this guy. Um, oh. All you need is a little dirt on him and some flames. All we need is like a flamethrower coming out. That would be cool. We could probably custom that. Hey, that would be awesome. fire. That would be awesome. Okay. That would get us all killed, but it would be Oh cool. my god. That, that Ant-Man looks like... <laughs> it looks so, something out of the comic, but... It looks like a chibi or like a miniature. You know, obviously it's Funko, but... It's, it's kind of funny looking. <laughs> um, yeah, that one's cool. Here he is. So he is a bobblehead as well. And he's got his little fists up. And what's that? Just a tool belt? Yeah. So it's not that no like special A uh, tool marking. belt, Heather. You see a hammer a in there? A superhero belt. A superhero. He's wearing a superhero belt. Uh, so those are those two guys right there. I know the music is playing. I'm sorry. Let me mute that. There we go. I was trying to keep a little background, something, because in all of our other videos, we have some background music. Um, but these these two are really neat. So Iron Man was one that I really wanted. 
Um, he has a lot of really cool detail in his suit. If you guys don't have him or you're wondering if you should go out and pick him up, I highly recommend it, especially if you collect Iron Man. He's, um, he's, he's, he's a, a lot of fun. I, I don't know. It's hard to put him back in the box and take him out of the box. But Heather, what do you think about these two, huh? Um, I think they're both really cool. Um, the only complaint that I have about him, and it's nothing against Ant-Man, but he just seems sort of, like, plain. Yeah, he is. But he's really neat looking. I, it, I'm just drawn to, like, the more intricate pop I think. Yeah, it's very flat. Like, everything's very flat. Yeah, um, his paint, cool. His paint job is very meh, too. Um, Iron Man's paint job is, is incredible. Uh, he, looks, he looks really good. I'm, I'm really happy with this one. Well, no, I, I really do love this man. I just, you know, the pops that I chose, I feel, are, like, really cool. And, like, yours are just, like, cool. Oh, thanks. But, thanks, Heather. You got anything else nice to say? All right, let's move on because we're going to bore them if we don't move fast enough, Heather. Um, really you quick, have a last thing to say? Um, yeah, I would like a headband that gives me antenna that makes Hey, that would be cool. Why it not? Would be cool. Yeah, why not? Oh, we're putting him back in the box? Uh, well, I just threw him back in the box. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. They said they can't hear you. So you need to talk louder. Heather, talk louder. I don't know how to do there we that. Go. Music is gone. Music is gone. Done. Music idea went right down the tubes, Heather. Yeah. Really fast. You know, I tried to silence it, but you said something like, stop touching things. So I stopped touching things and... How many Everything times have you heard me say that, Heather, huh? Oh, here's the one that I've been wanting to open all day long. So the next one I'm going to open is Stinkor. Uh, he came from uh, FYE. Heather ran over and picked him up today. I did. I and did. ever since we were on the Mega Stream last night, um, Cletus pulled it out of the box and he was saying the smell is incredible. They're still hearing the music. How turn do we the hold on, let me get, let me off. just turn it off. Let me, hold on, let me turn it off. I don't know what the heck is going on. What's going on? Is it there so we go. Pleasant? Hey, there you go. There you go. Sorry about that. Yes, All right, Angela, so he does smell. Yeah, so I want to see what he smells like. I haven't smelled this guy yet. Uh, Cletus got me all amped up, and quite frankly, that's the only reason why I bought this guy is because Cletus' reaction. So I want to see what he smells like. I'm wondering if it's horrible. I'm sorry about the music, guys. I didn't know it was going to do that. Uh, so my bad. <clears throat> I did. Oh, my. Yeah, he's rough. Wow, he's, yeah. They were right. He ha he does have that old man like kind of smell to it. He smells like the clothes were in the in the um, dryer too long. Ew. Yeah, that's kind of what he smells like. I. Uh, Do you want to smell? Did you earlier. smell it? I oh, okay. smelled him in. He was in the box. Okay. And I could smell him from outside of the box, and it was pretty gross. Oh, this guy's cool. He is very cool. He is really cool. So I don't know how many of you guys grew up with Masters of the Universe, but they have <laughs> the Masters of the Universe look down so um so perfectly it's the you know like the simplistic color scheme on the on this character um he is really cool i i like him and even like the the chest piece that they have up here and like these like claw feet down here his shield um he's awesome i like this guy he's cool i you know now i kind of wish i kept scareglow we traded a scare glow a long time ago. You I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I had nothing to do with that. I said, please don't. And he did anyway. Yeah, I messed up, Heather. Uh, we know that. Yeah, we do. Now that you know, it's weird. It's like after I smelled him, now I can't stop smelling him. Ew. Is that weird? I know, I know. Like, it's like, hold on. Like it's in your nose hairs or you just keep wanting to smell no, it? No, it's just like, I want to keep, like, I want to, I want to smell it again. Like uh, to make, to make sure, whoa, whoa, uh, to make sure that it really smells bad. Now it's kind of growing on me. Ew. What if I come in from work tomorrow and I smell like this? <laughs> Ew. Like you just got all of them and just rub rub the pops all over you? <laughs> Heather calls me an old man because I'm a little bit older than her. so A little would, bit? Yeah, seven years. But Six. I... I so is it? All right, so what do you have there? Okay. So I started to open it because I got really excited, so I'm sorry his box is a little bit open, but um, it's Dustin from the Snowball yes, Dance. Yes, the, the smell does transfer to your hand, Tyrannosaurus <laughs> Rex, just so you know. I he, got gotcha. you. He was shared to um, GameStop. So, yes. So this is one Heather really didn't know she wanted. She was on the fence, but once she saw it, she wanted it. Yeah. So once I saw a better look at him, um, I really fell in love with his weird haircut. 
And I had to have it. He just has like... <laughs> he looks like he Sigourney has... Weaver from uh, Aliens. Like this little guy in the front. It's really cool. Or Sigourney Weaver from maybe the first Alien. I mean, that's the same sort of styled haircut. Um, how does Stinkor smell? He smells like old man um, cologne, I guess, is the... Let me smell. Like the best way I could tell you, or almost like a tree. I oh my know. God. So it smells like plastic? Mixed with like herbs? Yeah, like herbs. Exactly like herbs. I don't know what kind of herbs. I'm not like an herb connoisseur. Oh, you're not? But no, but it's... It's not hateful. It's really not. It's not hateful. It's not it isn't like, like it, it doesn't stinky. stink like bad. Yeah, it's, it's not, like not good though, but yeah. it's not like bad. If you have uh, King Groot from the Gamerverse Marvel, <laughs> um, open that box. It'll blow you out of your shoes. I'm not kidding you. It will knock you out of your shoes. Yeah. Uh, so it's did you did you want to repeat that little story that we told on the? You know what? Let's keep night. these guys out, and at the end we can hold them all up. So okay. I'll just I'll just set them up right here. Too bad we don't have like a little table and we can set them behind us, you know, so they can take a well, look. Well, we do have a table. You just have a bunch of stuff on it. No, no, I mean like a table that was high enough so they could take a look at it, you know. But we don't have that. So it was it's it high enough. We've done that before. Yeah. All right. Don't so even, here. Don't even. Uh, <laughs> Woo! Worry about just throw it. the box. Woo! All right. So what do you have there next, Heather? So this one was shared with GameStop too. It's the Destiny Sweeper bot. Every time I go to tower or town or what do they call it? Do they call it? No, it's not huh? orbit. What do they call it in Destiny 2? It used to 2? be the tower and now it's called... I'm a huge Destiny 2 fan and I can't remember. I can't either. Yeah. I, it's because I'm on the spot. But I always pass this guy going over to Hawthorne. Um, so... So, so anyway... I, I just like him. Yeah, he, so he's one of those obscure characters that like no one really cares about or pays attention to but now that they made a pop of it it's like holy crap that's freaking awesome absolutely uh top pops hello thank you for coming and stopping by the next one that i opened is this brawly now i don't know if you guys have been online recently to check out like what ign's posting but they posted a preview for the new brawly movie and if you like dragon ball the trailer looked awesome i cannot wait it looks so cool jetta patrol hello Hi. Um, hello. So, so far we've opened a lot of things. We have Stink Gore. We have this guy. We have a Brawly. We opened, we opened up an Iron Man. Dustin. Dustin with his Sigourney Weaver hair. The Ant-Man. The Ant-Man. And by the way, the, the Stink Gore, it doesn't smell that bad. It's not as hateful as I thought. Uh, it's, it actually was okay. Brawly for the win. That's right, Bob. There he is. Look at him. He's so cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He is so awesome. Um, I don't know if this is based off the new Brawly or the old one. It, according to the trailer, it did not look like the new Brawly to me. Um, you're looking at me almost as if you're looking at me for an answer, and I have you, no oh, idea you didn't watch about it. That's Dragon right. Ball. That's right. I forgot. Okay, so what do you have? Okay. Well, I already said what I had, but I oh, didn't no, box I mean, it. Hold it up. The sweeper bot. Look at him. He has his little broom. He's sleeping. <laughs> he, he's, um, he's doing a really darn good job. What is really weird is he's predominantly like grayish and yellow and that little bit of blue, but then he has a touch of purple up there. I'm trying to get it to focus, but I don't know if it's going to focus. Oh, there it goes. Jenna says, my stink or just smells like plastic. Like he's really <laughs> bummed out about it. Yeah, so I'm sorry. Um, ours smells ours, like plastic mixed with old man cologne. Or evergreen trees. I don't even yeah. know how to explain it. it. Really, it does. It sort of it's does. It's weird. It's really weird. Oh, I also got Captain Caveman. Uh, mm -hmm. And if you guys watch the old, I, now of course it's at Walgreens, it's being mailed. But if you watch the old Captain Caveman and Son cartoons, now they need and Son. Because that would be just the best. It would be. Captain Caveman and Son! That would be so awesome. Okay, we're moving right along. So we've we've opened, you no, know, they're so cool out of the box. I know. They just, it's, it's hard to make them look nice when you put them all up. You know what I mean? A couple yeah. of them here and there, but all of them, if they were all out of the box back there, I think it would be kind of rough. Um, okay, Maybe. so what is your next one, Heather? Um, I'll do this one. I'm saving my two faves for last. How many do you have left over there? Uh, I have uh, I have two down here, and I have one we're going to open together. And okay. Jetta Patrol, you're not going to want to miss that. We're going to be together opening this. No, um, you're not. Just a heads up, credit cards are great. Um, by the way, I'm opening Valkyrie. 
Uh, Valkyrie's really oh, cool. Oh, yeah, and I have Skeeter. So we use our credit card to kind of op- get the box, kind of jiggle it around and, and get that thing to open, and you it's know, not working, and I'm sitting here telling you now. It's been seamless up until right now where we've actually showed you how we're getting these open. Right, there we go. Now, I got it. I got now it. Now it's like it. tough as it. can be. Okay, so obviously Valkyrie does not stand very well because it comes with a stand. Sweeper Bob does <laughs> as well. Jetta Patrol says, Heather bullied me in the dorms. I told him, I sent him a private message earlier because he sent us the picture of the dorms. And I said, I bet you didn't think that uh, D.A.R.E. program in elementary school was going to be talking about um, Funko Pops instead of drugs. Well, yeah. You know? And I, and I Say laugh, no to drugs. I, Say no to dorms. I laughed a lot about that. Um, so here's Valkyrie. Good. No, it was pretty good. Uh, here's Valkyrie. Now, the only problem now that I have is that there's like a little piece of plastic wrapping her into like the, the box. Here. Oh, it's so, like, it's like a twist tie. Yeah. So I'm going to see if I can't maneuver her out. Uh, almost got it. All right. So that's cool. So let me just make sure. Yeah, she does. I have been waiting for him since they announced him. I'm so happy to have him. Who do you got there? Skeeter Valentine. So you got skeeter uh here's valkyrie valkyrie is really cool she has uh her little cape back here look at that cape and she has these two like little like sword like looking knife things those are cool it looks like one's a sword and one's a dagger it's yeah really yeah something like that cool. and the sword's really cool it has like that um thor ragnarok look to it you know that like that uh teal kind of color yeah yeah like his glow. Yeah, these these guys are cool. So here's Skeeter. He's waving hi to everybody, and he's just he's he's a plain one, but um, definitely brings back memories from when I watched Doug. And I actually um, I don't know if you're normally I watch it in the morning mm-hmm. with his son. You know that me and Max have been watching Doug. I did not know that. Yeah, we've been watching Doug, and every morning he asks me, "Can we watch Doug?" And I'm like, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we've we've been watching Doug, so I think he's really going to love this guy. He His little hairs are spiky. He has, like, a little bit of, like, paint flaw up there, but it's not a big deal. So I noticed a lot lately with um, a lot of the ant, like, the Ant-Man pops that came out, like, the Wasp came with, like, this little stand. I think that's cool. Um, because I don't out of box a whole lot. Um, it's, it's interesting to, now that we're out of boxing all of our pops, we're going to out of box every pop that we get now. Uh, and then we're going to put it back in the box and put it in its rightful place. But I've noticed that they all come with these little stands and it's so awesome because they can stand up no matter what, and you can display them. And I think that's so cool. It's nothing's worse than having a pop that just continues to fall over. Yeah. Especially when you're trying to take a picture of it. I take a lot of pictures and when they're falling over, it makes me want to jump out the window. Cry. So, hold on. Request. Yes. Can we knock yours out of the way? Because I would like my two to be saved for last. Okay. So you want me to? You want to do these? Yeah. Maybe one of us could. Okay. All right. So we have two things. Now, a lot of people do not like dwarves, and I know that. I'm very, very clear on that. Uh, but I got these guys because they are so awesome. Anything with red skull, I want it. I need to have it. So, we also have Craglin, which, believe it or not, uh, at our Barnes & Noble, they ate it up like candy. They were gone, and we were able to help a couple friends, weren't we, Heather? We were. Um, but I was surprised that was, like, one of the first one to go away uh, or to or to be purchased. So, to go away. Get, to go away in somebody's well, collection. Well, I, I think that there were very few of him delivered to our store, if I recall correctly. Yeah. So... Uh, Heather, thoughts on uh, Harry Potter five star? Um, Jetta, I have not seen them in person. I don't think I want to actually collect them, but seeing them in person might change my mind. Um, they're really cute looking. What are they? Um, they're Funko figures. Um, I'm not really clear on the size. I don't know. I think they're like, oh, like mini size or a little bit larger. But okay. They're really, they're really cute. I don't do dorbs, but damn it, I want the uh, uh, Game of Thrones dragons. I was going to say got, but that sounds stupid. Game of Thrones dragons, my BNN didn't have them in today. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, well, I, I personally love dorbs. I know that Jetta Patrol has something against them. He does not like them so much. He likes them now. He likes them now. Um, but here they are. 
Uh, they're cool. He looks like a tomato. And Craglin, he's so cool. Oh, let's see Craglin. Let's do a let's do a, a walk around on him. Yeah, do a three sixty. So here's his really cool outfit. His awesome arrow that he whistles to uh, get done. Um, yeah, there you go. Thank yeah, you. he's cool. So the little arrow, just like um, Yondu uh, yeah. has, you know, in the movie, because they pass along the little fin. So he's cool looking, and it looks like the thing is like in like bedded in his in his head. That's kind well, of crazy looking. No, I I think that was in the movie. It was in the movie, yeah. yeah. But I mean, it's like on the figure, it looks interesting. Yeah. Um. But here, here yes. are these guys right here. So these guys are cool. Love love the the red skull. Captain America's cool. He has that little tiny shield there. His little ears. He's so neat. Uh. And Red Skull, he's awesome as well with his like little suit. His little Nazi-looking garb, I guess. I don't know. He has, like, a little fluff up here. They're cool. I like these guys. I know you guys probably aren't a huge fan, but I love them. They're so cool. Uh, okay, let me set these guys down. And, well, I have one left. Yeah, speaking of dorbs. Okay. So, what, you don't want to open this last? No. All right, we'll go ahead and open it now. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, here it is. So, you just talked about them. We got the Game of Thrones dragons. They're so awesome. Thank you, Rise Pops. Thank you so much. We hit 1K last night. It was amazing. It was so much fun, and we're so excited. Uh, so thank you so much for all of your guys' support. We appreciate you. So here are all the dragons. Now, I'm not a huge Game of Thrones fan. I've watched the first two seasons. Heather and I are going to go back and watch them. But I love Dorbs, and when I saw these, I needed to have them. I wanted them. Heather's like, why are you going to buy those? And I was like, well, I never cool. said that. She, she, she like scoffed at me. I oh, never said that. I was the first some one kind to of say dummy? that those are really cool. Don't listen to him. He's out of his mind. <laughs> Get out of so, here. I oh, that's cool. So you. there's no tape on top. That's awesome. Yeah, so there's no tape. So we don't have to pull, pull any, you know, or rip anything. Um, Brandon, we'll get to that in a moment. We did unbox Dustin earlier. Yes, we will show you. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm not saying Game of Thrones is bad. I'm I'm just saying that I I'm I just don't watch it. I and it, I know it's a good but show. We Everybody loves it. We will. But we are gonna watch it. So why don't you grab a couple of dragons? I'm gonna be honest. I want to hold this one. Ah, oh, that's. The I'm one sorry. I was going it's the for. one I want to hold, Heather. Okay, take it easy on me. So here they are in all their glory. I got to tell you something. These, These are, are awesome. the best dorbs I think I've ever seen. Um, they are amazing. They have teeth, uh, and they have fins. They're, on their back of their head, are they, they have wings. Around? Oh, oh, oh! No, the fins okay. on the back of their heads. I fins. thought you were talking. I thought you were calling their wings fins. This one is definitely my favorite of the four. Yes. This guy is so freaking cool. He's awesome. So uh, these guys are these guys are um, different than any other dwarf I've ever seen. Yes, they have amazing. a lot more. Um, uh, um, what am I? What's the word I'm looking for? They, like their mouths are open and stuff. Like the other ones are. They're very intricate. Like and, intricate, and, detailed, yeah. detailed, detailed. They're very detailed. Yeah. Um, so these are cool. They look like they're laughing. They do, and and yeah, just like you dorbs. know what they're saying. They're saying, "Ha ha, Jetta Patrol, we're the first dorbs <laughs> that you bought, and you hate us, but you love us." Ha 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 ha. <laughs> these guys are cool. I, I almost want to keep them out of box, like uh, all the yeah. time. They're cool. So. They are very it's a funny thing. So Heather did point out that these guys are laughing or smiling. All dorbs, if you look at them, are smiling. They are. Okay. Besides. Well, and besides one that we've realized in our collecting so far, and there, there could be more. We have noticed that Logan, old man Logan, is not smiling. He is the only non-smiling dorb. Uh, I can show you him in a moment if you guys would love that to we, see that. that. We've sure. Seen. They what? That we've, we've seen. seen. That we've seen. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I can't. I've never seen any other ones. And Me I've looked either. at a lot of dwarves because I love dwarves. So those guys are cool. Look, he even has like, or this guy. He even has like little spots in his wings and stuff. So can you guys tell me what are going on with these dra What dragons am I holding here? What are they? What are they called? Do we? Can we tell who is who? Oh, okay. There's their names. Icy Vizarian. Vizarian. Dragon. Drogon. Drogon. Think, and and Rigel. Okay. They're yeah. cool. Awesome. They're really neat. I yes. can't wait. Like, seeing how cool the Game of Thrones pops are makes me want to watch the show. I know. Weekend. You know what? We're going to start watching yeah. it. Maybe we'll start watching it this weekend. Because no, we, we have some downtime and we'll watch it. We won't. I think it'll be fun. We won't. So those are cool. Okay, Heather. Um, let's go ahead. But and, I, I would like to. Let's go ahead and open the very last couple pops that you have. Yes. You made me. You, you made me go first. Now I have nothing. Well, hold on. You can open this one. Oh, thanks. Where's the other one? 
right here. No, the other one, other one. What other one? Mooning Myrtle, Heather. I don't know. I you don't, don't have, have a mooning? Oh, I have to go get a mooning Myrtle. Hold oh, on. Okay. I'm going to go get a Myrtle, mooning Myrtle so we can check it out. Here, why don't you... Oh, my God. I can't... So let me tell you something. Since I've been taking a lot of pictures, it's been so much fun. This is going to be a really cool picture to take because I'm going to glow in the dark. You know what? Do we have the light? That's what here? I was planning on doing. Can oh, you, you are going to do that. Okay. All right. Well, take it easy. Thanks. Hold him. So the reason I wanted to save these last couple pops for last, and I forgot about the myrtle. Chris brought all the pops down, and, and I guess he left it upstairs on the table. Um, but I wanted to show you all of uh, the glow pops we got today. And they're all really freaking awesome. I know most of you who are watching probably know exactly what uh, my two favorites are. Ow. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> What's a mooning myrtle? Did I say mooning myrtle? Probably. If I did, my bad. He had, so Chris has this really bad problem where he talks too fast and, like, doesn't, like, it doesn't register in his head what he's saying. It's, I get really excited. What can I tell you? Yeah. Oh, look, and Bam is right sitting right behind us in the middle of us. Oh, almost as is. if he wants to be seen. So, here are the last few that we've okay. got to show you guys. This what? is freaking cool. I okay. almost said the F word. Let me say. Oh, it's on a hinge. Okay. Nearly Headless Nick. Okay, we have been wondering this. This guy, he is literally like... I don't know what it's Thank held you, on by. You know, I think... It's a hinge. It's a little hinge on there, and he just goes back and forth. Yeah, it is. Wow. So it's a little, like, plastic hinge in there. I don't think I would be able to show you unless you were, like, looking at... The very small section. I was of gonna. This pop. I was gonna say we should glow them in the dark awesome. and show everybody them glowing in the dark, but it's gonna be impossible. Turn Do the you light want to off. turn the light off and be weird? Heather? Turn the light off. Let's oh turn God. the light off. We're doing it. We're showing you guys the glow. Hold on. Show her. Show her in the light. Oh. Yeah. Moaning Myrtle. Hold on. Can you hold on, please? Yeah. Okay. So we got Moaning Myrtle, in her uh, dead ghost school clothes, nearly headless Nick. With his weird, nearly headless head. And um, oh. we came up with the name Tomato. <laughs> but it's not Tomato. Because we've never seen Moana. And it's just really hard to like read it and say it right, for us since right, we've never right. seen it. Tomatoa, I think it's Tomatoa, pronounced. Tomatoa, something like that. Something like that. But he is freaking awesome. This I is love one his. Of the, this is one of the pops I bought because I like the uh, glow in the dark and I wanted to take a picture of it. Yeah. How stupid is that? No, it's not stupid. Well, I wanted to hit it anyway. All right. So let's hurry up and do okay. this because I, I don't... If we get, they, they're going to have a hard, very, very hard time seeing this. Which is fine. But here, guys, we're going to try to do our best for you so you can see it. Let's see. Is there a light somewhere? Oh, the... Yeah. That thing. But that's okay. It's not going to bother us. Nah, the, the screen's too bright. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, the screen's too... Hold on. Ah, there Look he is. Look at that. That is so cool. That is so awesome. Look at this. All right, you guys ready for How about Nick? the back? Does the back of him light up? Um... I only saw the front in the photos. Oh, my God, yeah. His whole back lights That's up. That's cool. That's a cool pop. That is really cool. Yeah, he's cool. All right, you ready for Nick? Okay. There he is. Oh, his whole body glows, but it's really faint. It's a lot more faint than the head. There he is. You should have aimed for the head. Yeah, he doesn't say that. That's what Thanos says. I don't, but, okay. Sorry, I had to do Thanos things. I'm holding <laughs> all these Harry Potter pops. <laughs> Two different worlds. I know. I don't quote Harry Potter while we're showing off your Marvel pops. Here, Come let's on. light him up one more time, too. Okay, hold on. All right, and here's Myrtle. Look at that. Myrtle's cool. That is so oh, cool. Yeah. So let's do him one more time. Giggity. He is so cool. Look at that, like, face. Now, guys, this... There's very little like screen like showing like uh, or light from the screen showing here. This is pretty much all glow. That's an incredible glow in the dark, in my opinion. That's oh, really yeah. really cool. Look at the back and everything. 
He's he's so awesome. Awesome. So I'm going to be taking a picture. If you guys check our Instagram uh, at Gasselcast, check it out. I'm going to take a photo of him. A lot of people like to use them as backgrounds on their computers and everything. I don't know why. I, I'm a horrible photographer. Uh, but the pictures do come out looking kind of cool. All right, hold on. Let me get the lights back on. I already turned one on. No, no, no. We got to turn on a regular light. I know. Now we look like creepers or something. Okay. Um, as serious collectors, do you guys think it's worth having doubles in your collection? No, unless you're looking to resell. Um, when we buy doubles, it's typically for a friend. Um, well, hold on. Okay, sometimes, on. well, sometimes we buy doubles because we like them outside the box. I've well, done yeah, that. On, I've done that yeah. on like five or six. Of well, them. we didn't intend to keep the we didn't intend to keep those pops out of the box. So, if you remember correctly, right? Yeah, we bought a bad box, and um, we unboxed it and later bought a good right. box. Right. So right. that's how right. that happened. Right. Um, we don't. I don't think we have any like f double. Double no. pops beside. I mean, we have some. We yeah. have some back there. Um, mostly it's damaged boxes, and there are a couple of pops I really like, so I bought another yeah, one. Yeah, so the, we can keep it we, out of box. We have the European Crota too. That's right. We yeah, sure do. The, the European, European Crota. Crota. So Heather, let's show off once more to everybody because there are now more people here than when we started. Oh, really quick, we had a request earlier um, for someone to see Dustin. Oh. So here's Dustin. So this is precisely cool what I was going to do. I, I decided that we would just run through them, and then you and I, and even the audience, even you guys, can tell us which one is your favorite from our hall, and we'll also discuss which ones are favorite from the hall. Okay. So let's just run through this one more time, kind of go almost in the same order as before. I'll hold up two, you hold up two. Um, okay. So here we have Brawly, and we have Stinkor, and we uh, we uh, said Stinkor smells sort of like an old man. Uh, yeah. He's pretty cool, though. Your Iron Man isn't out of the box. Oh, well, that's okay. okay. I'm not worried about it. You don't have to pull him out, do you? Okay, go ahead. He's already... That's uh, what I'm doing. Him. Yep, he's already out. Um, Ant-Man. There's uh, the Ant-Man. Jetta Patrol says, I really like that Jetta Patrol pop. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe one day we can custom him a Jetta Patrol pop. That would be, cool. be cool. Oh, yeah. We love That'd doing customs. That would be really customs. nice. So, here are and these four guys. Now, you've seen them, so they're really cool. Okay. So... Now, let's take a look. Uh, let's see. Craglin. And here are these guys here. Here we go. Captain America, Red Skull, Craglin. And Craglin's awesome. Hello, uh, Anne Marie. Good to see you. So Craglin's cool with his little fin up there. Heather, what do you got? You want to. Dustin and Sweeper Bot from Destiny. Yes, they're cool. Those are awesome. Um, you know. These guys look better. <laughs> this sounds horrible. They look better in the box. <laughs> <laughs> they look horrible out of the box. I should never have done this. I ruined everything for myself. Okay. You want to um, hold up the dragons? Yeah, let's hold the dragons. Okay. You want to hold these because I know you wanted to hold the blue okay, one. Okay, yeah, I want to hold the blue one. Can I hold blue and gray? I just really like blue yeah, and gray. Sure. Okay. I wish the there were a purple ones, one. Yeah, I did. The mustard one uh -huh. and the, like, green one. I, I got to be honest with you. I'm almost gonna say these are my favorite from a hall today. Yeah, they're yeah. They're I'm I'm pretty awesome. much there to tell you, and I almost did not buy these, and I'm so happy that I did buy them. These Dorbs are so cool. Well, if you didn't buy them, I would have. The so. the Dorbs four pack from Barnes and Noble. Hopefully, you guys got them if you wanted them. Um, I don't know. Somebody said they didn't even show up at their store. That's terrible. Um, someone, um, Michael Petrino said, "What are those small things? They aren't pops." <laughs> <laughs> And he's laughing at us. Okay, so we, I'll hold um, one one more. Okay, you hold those two. I'll hold these guys. And there they are. The only other one that we got was Mark One Iron Man, but everybody's seen him to death. Oh, my God. Way too many times. But Valkyrie's here. And then to, to Tomato? Tomato? <laughs> Tomatoa. Tomatoa. So Tomatoa. Uh, we found out that it. he is the best Galona Dark Pop ever made, I think. Okay, are we in agreement? Um, I mean, I would say, like, he's cool, but, like, I've been looking for these guys for, yeah, I know. like, you're, ever. You're so, really I'm really biased, but he is freaking, oh, I, I do, I really love the colors on this guy, and I love the way his glow pattern is, in general. And then there's Sweeperbot. I already did that. Oh, you did do Sweeper? Yeah, so, I did. I did want to say something about him. What? So, it's weird. These are more of a little action figure to me. 
this is almost like an overgrown mystery mini. This isn't even a yeah, pop. Yeah. There's no bobblehead. It doesn't swivel. It's all one piece. It's sort of similar to like a statue, like a plastic statue. I do love it though. It goes great with my uh, Destiny collection. He is cool. I like his little uh, his little sweeper there. That's really neat. So he's awesome. So why don't you guys discuss? Tell us. Oh yes, uh, yes we do have love for Looney Tunes to uh, Looney Tune pops. I have a Pepe Le Pew coming that is not here yet. A friend of mine picked it up for me today, and I have. Um, Let's see. That was Looney Tune, right? Oh, and then Captain Caveman from Hanna Barbera. I can't wait for that. So, guys, discuss. What is your favorite pop? Maybe we don't even have it. What was your favorite pop of SDCC? What is your favorite pop that we have here this evening? And um, Heather, let's discuss what our. I'm going to open this Red Skull since we're sitting here. What is your uh, favorite pop, uh, or what? What is your favorite pop of the night? Let's cover pops. I can't pick one. Do I have to pick one? Pick one. Ugh. Okay. Well. So, of course, I've been waiting for the Harry Potter Pops forever, but I'm going to go with the Nearly Headless Nick because just they look so much alike with, like, the ghostly, like, translucent blue um, and the fact that they're ghosts. But the head is just does it for me. I mean, how much cooler could that get? It, I, I don't think it could get any You better. love it. You I, love I it. Absolutely you absolutely love it. love it. You can't get enough I, of it, right, Heather? I am so happy I was able to get this guy today. You you guys have no idea. So while you guys were discussing and talking, I opened up the Red Skull. This is the 10 years um, Marvel Legends. Uh, he's really cool. I like this guy. And he comes with multiple heads, so he can be like different soldiers and stuff like that from the film, uh, the Captain America First Avenger film. This guy's cool. I, I've been trying to collect all things um, Red Skull lately because I will never see Red Skull the Funko Pop. So, yeah. What better way to uh, to make that mess not so messy, but to go out and buy all other Red Skull items? So he's cool. I like him. You the know, only problem is that he does not come with a gun. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, he does not come with a gun. Like he comes with a rifle, but it's not a gun. So uh, isn't kind of a bummed. rifle a gun though? No, I mean like a handgun. I'm sorry. Like oh, a handgun. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah, a handgun. I, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure a rifle... Like, I don't know very much about guns, but yeah, I think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, well, it's, it's I like think a, a rifle's a gun. Well, it's like a made-up gun, too. It's like a blaster thing from the movie. Anyway, okay. So, Heather, my favorite thing from this haul was the dragons. Yes. I think a lot of people seem to like great. the dragons as well. Maybe people are like, oh, man, I should have got the dragons. Or, hey, I'm going to go buy some dragons. So that would be cool. By the way, this is the box that Captain America and uh, Red Skull came in. It looks really cool. It has like all the print on there with Hydra and Captain America Shield. I, I really like the pa packaging. I I'm never taking them out ever again. I just bummed <laughs> myself out like more than I ever thought I would. Like I almost had like buyer's remorse after I opened it. Okay. You know, hold on before we okay. I need to say that I am also really digging the boxes of the Harry Potter Pops. They have yes. like this gold now, like um, like a bronzy sort of gold. And it's really pretty. It's very um, like neutral, but I think it goes well with the Pops that you see inside of these boxes. It was the same font for this whole newer wave. Um, the Mandrake, the, the Ron, Hermione, and Harry holding the Mandrakes. Yes. Um, the basilisk, the Dobby. the basilisk is my favorite of yeah, the Harry that's... Potter series. That's my favorite, that's awesome. hands down, my favorite. Uh, it looks like a lot of people are saying things. Did you enjoy Pop Academy freaking out over removing that? <laughs> that was really funny. Yes, that was hilarious. If you guys didn't catch the lot, I... uh, the mega stream last night, you really missed out. It was so much fun. You can go back and watch it now. You can, and you should, because it was so much fun. I am pretty sure that um, Funko Academy probably like. H had some cuss words to say after that. <laughs> uh, dystopian, <laughs> dystopian guy, Thor is coming. Thor Ragnarok is my top favorite of this whole release, the SDCC release, but he's in the mail. Amazon is going to deliver, or whoever is going to deliver him, on Monday. So I'm waiting for, excuse me, beer's getting to me. Thor is coming Monday, and Edna, um, was Jack, it? Jack. Ed, Jack Jack Edna is coming as well. So we are getting both of them, and also Captain Caveman. I have to say something. Geek Centric just said tomato. They they use our word. Uh -huh. Tomato is is his or her favorite, um, and it's great to see different things other than the standard pops. Oh, that's great, and that's what I love. That's what I, I love. love too. 
I love the dragon dwarves. I love tomato. I love, well, I don't think we... Sweeperbot's okay. I mean, I, I think he's very cool, but he's sort of pop-like-ish. He's, he's less fantasy. Oh my god. That guy says he has a tongue twister. West Beck. Top Pops needs his pop top. <laughs> uh alex uh, lopez hello uh we hope all as well as with uh with you we you're one of uh you're one of the guys that always sticks around is always here hello everybody uh let's see bobby get metallic vegeta chris step your game up then give it to me yeah good luck with that i don't think i'll ever see it but it did look like it was released over in the uk somewhere like a shared yes, exclusive it had a shared exclusive sticker i didn't realize that that was a thing uh, thank you for both help getting the word out about Ryan's event for his son. Absolutely, unboxing art. Absolutely. We'll do everything that we can, and we're going to update you yet again, because it's so important. If you haven't gone to sydneyasaurus.com, you should. Yes. It's right back there. There, I wrote it back there. That's oh, how you spell it. Oh, no, my head's that, going yeah. in the way. That's how you spell it, and then there's an IG down there. Sydney Asara. Um, so really quick, Sydney is our friend, uh, Ryan and Lacey's little boy. Um, he was diagnosed with leukemia in October and we're having a benefit here in Maryland next Saturday. Right. Um, and even if you aren't local, you can still get involved. They're doing an online pick your prize raffle. They have a ton of, um, Funko related items and non Funko related items to include prototypes. Um, Mike Becker, if you watch um, um making fun making fun the mike becker's a guy that started funko yes he did in his mom's garage i yep. think it was um and it's a funko hq jacket that he has signed it's one of a kind it was his personal jacket he took off his back and signed it um that's donated it's one of the raffle prizes you can win um a signed poster by slipknot i think even a rob zombie signed photograph yes um, a lot of band signed really cool a lot stuff. of band signed photographs there is a gold metallic vegeta somebody actually mentioned gold that in the comments or gold chrome i'm sorry i always get metallic and chrome i'm always throwing the, the wrong words around but somebody mentioned hey chris you could win that vegeta and you're right so uh, if you throw your money into the ring um, and you pick your, you select the prize that you want to put your money towards in the raffle, uh, you have a chance to win it. So go on there and check it out. If you guys need more information, contact us directly on Instagram and we will help you the whole way. Uh, we'll do whatever we can to help. Absolutely. Uh, so you, if and, and you know, of course, if you want to uh, put money towards Sydney and his family uh, and all their medical bills. That's um, awesome, I'm too. so sad I couldn't get Stinkor. Uh, yeah. Yes. Funko Finders Canada. We, um, glad we could help you out today. That's so cool. So today we went out, we met up with a lot of friends. The hunting part was probably the best part. The, the pops and dwarves that we have sitting in front of us are the, um, are the, you know, enjoyable part at the end. But the most fun was being out there and hunting and being in line with our friends. Yes. That was so much fun. We have... I don't know how it is where everybody else is. I mean, you're going to have those bad eggs wherever you go. But um, for the most part, the community locally around us is so tight-knit and everyone's so friendly and so willing to help. And, like, I, I, I just... It's very cool. And yeah, it, and it I'm makes, so grateful for it. it, it when Sometimes I know I, when, when I'm out and I see people cut me off in the road, I always say things like, oh, I hate people. And I'm, like, all aggravated. But days like today make me, you know, realize that people are awesome and we love people. And we actually went out and bought a, a couple of pops for friends that couldn't make it out. And uh, that and I, I that was great. And people helped us, too. There were some things that we were not able to get. And Pepe Le Pew actually was one of them. Uh, we missed out on that at Barnes & Noble and one of our buddies came through. So that was so awesome. We hope that you guys are helping each other out there. I hope you're following our motto. And if you've been around the gas cast enough, you'll know what the motto is. It's, we hunt together. Yes. Um, because that's what we do. We it like is. to help each other. And we that's sure. why we're helping Sydney, by the way. Let's throw that out there. Okay. Well, do we have anything else to say? Um, Not anything else? Really. We do have a new episode of the Gas Cast coming very soon. Uh, Heather is putting something together to show you. Do you want to tell them how? Well, or what it's about? I'm sort of nervous to tell you guys because I'm really nervous that I'm going to screw everything up and we're not going to be able to post it, but I will. Um, I don't know if it's going to be, I'm, I'm going to be 
doing both of these things on the one video because I've never done this particular thing before and I don't know how long it's going to take. But I have two boxes, and this isn't the box, but I have two boxes uh, of pops that need the windows replaced. So one of them, our good friend Jake, um, accidentally got some glue on the box. And I'm first going to try to remove it, but I don't really think I'm going to be able to flawlessly. So I think I'm going to end up having to uh, remove the window and replace it with another window. So um, you guys will be able to see me every step of the way, whether I guess whether it works or it fails. I'm going to need to replace this window. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, um, it's, yeah, it's going to be more of a tutorial. I think it'll yeah, be fun. It's going to be a tutorial as well as a learning experience for myself. Um, but I have, uh, Steve from SCCC that needs the window replaced, and I also have the Happy Happy Joy Joy Ren and Simpy 2-pack. Yes. Um, with a window that's literally, like, cut. Just a quick heads up, Cletus Selden is here. Cletus, thank wow. you for coming, guys. This is awesome. It's, Are we uh, famous? It's a big deal when these guys show up. That's awesome. Um, it makes, it this... gets, it makes me a little nervous, Heather. It makes me sweat a little bit, okay? <gasps> Profusely. A lot. Um, but hey guys, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. We have, uh, more coming your way very, very soon. Uh, unless you guys want to throw in and talk about something real quick before we roll out of here straight out of Alderaan. Hello. Thank you for showing up. We recognize the name. My stink or smells like Cletus Selden. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, mine smells like a weird old man. It smells like you. What's interesting is that like tomorrow I'm going to want to smell this at work. Maybe so, I should take it with me. When I wake up in the morning, I'm going to let you guys know if we're missing this pop. <laughs> I took it to smell it. My boxing equipment too. 100%. Let's see. I'm by, how do you feel about Pokemon becoming pop? How do I feel about Pokemon becoming pops? I think it's awesome. And why I think it's awesome? It's a gateway for Nintendo pops. We need a Legend of Zelda series pops. Um, Mario, Donkey Mario, Kong, all of it. Super Smash Brothers. I mean, can you imagine what they could come up with? It's going to be outrageous, and I cannot wait to see what they come up with. The uh, what was it? The Pikachu looks cool so far, so I'm excited for Pikachu. Am I going to get it? Eh, maybe not. But I think if they come out with Zelda, Link, and all that, Ganon, mind blown. But okay. We probably won't see that for a while. So if we stay on the topic of just Pokemon. That's going to be worse than collecting Marvel or Star Wars because not only do you have the individual characters, but then you have, like, their evolutions. Yeah. So it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. And then I bet you they'll come out with, like, a Pokeball pop. Like, it's not even a Pokemon. It'll just be the Well, ball. it's going to come with a tagline that comes with Pokemon already. Got to catch them all. That's right. So everybody's going to want to go catch them all. And then they're going to make a gold one and release it at SDCC and nobody gets it but Cletus Selden. <laughs> He'll They're, get it. He'll be like, hey, look what I got. And I'm like, Cletus. He's going to say, hey, I, I got three of these. <laughs> yeah. Look at all these. There was only one made, but I have three. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how he did that. He's able but... to copy Pops right before our eyes. He's magic. <laughs> He's amazing. He is He is hilarious. If you um, did not watch the live stream last night, you really have to see it. We had it, so much fun in the live stream so that I could not go to bed until almost 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> And then we woke up at 6 to get ready for our hunt. So you can probably guess how much sleep I've had. Just based off the math, I would say maybe 4 or 5 hours of sleep. I'm, I, that's just showing how bad I am at math. I was just joking. You're bad at math in general. I am. So um, straight out of Alderaan. So he... She, it is a new she, castle. He, yes, it is. Fear. They're asking. Is that a new castle? Yes. Or, yeah, new castle. Yeah. Um, but um, they complimented my ghost shirt. Oh, liking the ghost. We That's awesome. We love Ghost. Ghost is one of our this favorite is, bands. This is not... You know what? Why don't... Since I got a compliment on my really cool Ghost shirt, why don't you go grab our Pops? What? Our oh, Pops. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll show you. This is the you last thing we're... You are going to love this is, it. This is the last thing we're going to show you because we have to close out after yes, an do. hour. I don't want to do. keep dragging on and everybody falling asleep. Anne Marie says, I'm not a Ghost fan. That's okay. Sorry, Anne Marie. Custom. Sorry, I hope you like. I hope you like this. Uh, what we're about to show, even if you aren't a Ghost fan, I hope you can appreciate it. We love Ghost. We've seen them how many times? Like five. Yeah, like we have Ghost tattoos. We're major fans. We're, we have Ghost tickets. We're going to see them in December. It's gonna be so much fun. We've met them. We've seen them a million, well, five times, and we've made pops of them. These were our first. 
customs. And we're so proud of them. So that is Papa 2? Yep, this is Papa 2 from Ghost. And this is a nameless ghoul from Papa's Papa 3's era, um, if you follow them that closely. But we sculpted these out of clay, and um, we used yeah, these, the DIY pops. These pops were blanks, so yeah. we made this completely on our own. Uh, we have since made uh, a couple others. I made, um, who did I make? I made uh, Balzac, from Bal Guar. Balzac the Mighty from Guar, and you made... Dexter Morgan Dexter, yeah. from the TV show. We'll have to, we'll have to post some updated TV pictures. Show. Funny story about this guy. I was painting him. I had a great paint job. And somehow I found a can of something, sprayed it thinking I was putting clear over it. It was full of acetone. And literally all the paint, like imagine it like this, all the paint shot off of it. Like it just shot off. It looked like... <laughs> and it, like the paint job, it landed in the grass. Like all of it was in the grass yeah, all mixed together. Yeah, it was together. really messed up. It, it looked like on the pop, it looked almost as if you cried your mascara off. Yes, it did. It was just running down him and there was nothing left to him besides like the clay and the, the body, I guess. But we spent so many hours on these guys and it was so much trial and error. Um, but we sculpted everything out of clay aside from, he has these buttons and they're not just painted on. They actually stand up a little bit. And I, um, I just use hot glue and it just gave them that little bit of lift. And then this thing is really cool. His little crucifix necklace. That's what they call it. Um, it's made out of a shrinky dink that we carved out it started out about this big and then shrunk to what you see and then i painted it and put it on a thread and it's it's actually like a necklace i'll be honest the, the thing i'm most shocked about with yours is the hair the hair is absolutely the intense hair? show them the hair just show them the top so this is what their mask look like um that's in yeah they're just a gr in incredible what pops were they originally they were um they were blanks they were the white uh male uh, yeah, yeah two white male uh blank uh, Funko thing. Uh, yeah, what are just, they called? Funko. They're DIY. Funko. DIY Funko. That's what they start start off. How hard was it to make? It was about three weeks of working really hard on all this. It was really tough. Yeah, I mean, not three straight weeks. Um, we both would just come home in the evening, and after we ate dinner, we would sit in front of the TV and watch it and sculpt these about, what? Well, since we're doing this, let me go grab the other two. Night. Let me go grab the other. Whoa! You break. <gasps> Did his head fall? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Let it's... me go grab the other two. Hold there on. I'm just going to show you. Hold on, hold on. I've been hold holding him upside down and stuff, so his head popped off a little bit, but he's fine. Um... But yeah, we're super proud of these guys. They're really cool. Neither of us, well, I feel like I'm a little bit more artistic than Chris because it's something that, like, when I was younger, I was really into art. Just art class, mostly. I didn't really do a whole lot outside of that. But I always found it interesting. But it, it, it really sort of showed us how creative we can be. I've never been a creative uh, day in my life, and somehow I found it when I was 33. So how do you like that? <laughs> so mine, this last custom that I made, so we made two. This this one was really tough. I actually got burned by <laughs> by hot glue. So this is um, Balzac um, Jaws of Death from Guar. So he has fur hair up here. He has fur on his boots. As you can see, look, he has little hooves. See his little, his little hooves. See him? Uh, and then he has the eyeball under here. So these were also made with... Um, Air drying clay. D DIY pops. Oh, DIY pops, yes. Yeah. Uh, do we think that Barnes & Noble will restock? I'll be honest with you. I think uh, I think some of the stores are going to restock over the next couple of days. That's Good just my opinion. Follow Funko Finders with a Z at the end on um, Instagram and turn on notifications. They've helped us tremendously. Yes, they um, have with restocks and everything. Absolutely. Uh, do we like Avatar? Uh, I don't. Are you referring to the band? Maybe. Uh, because I I remember Avatar or the movie or the show. I'm not sure. Heather, do you want to show yours? Yeah. So I made Dexter Morgan. I don't know if, you know, as the band many, is awesome. As many um, 
fans are out there, but I'm super into this. I'm actually reading the book, the Dexter books now because I miss the show so much. Um, but here he is. He looks sort of like a normal dude. Um, I sculpted his hair sort of similar to um, my ghost guy, but, you know, it's Dexter, so it couldn't be too similar. Um, gave him an apron. His apron's actually made of fabric. And... Chris helped me make his little knife because I was having a heck of a time making that. That was horrible. And then my favorite part of this pop is his hand holding the trash bag. So all of these pops come with like normal pop hands. Somebody said worst ending to a show. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was. I don't it know really what's was. worse, that or uh, Sopranos. Sopranos had a bad one too. Oh yeah, that was bad. Yeah. So the DIY pops, I didn't do anything to this guy's hands besides paint them. So they're just balled up fists. So Dexter, as you can see, I didn't touch this hand. All I did was glued this to the bottom and this to the top. But with this hand, I completely cut this hand off. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. I yeah, forgot that, that was cool. So I cut this hand off and another really crazy hot glue trick, I molded fingers out of hot glue painted him so he's like literally holding this trash bag and i actually used a piece of actual like bag material and i think <laughs> in here i think this is more trash bag or maybe tissue i don't remember what's in there but it's really cool so that's our that's all of our customs that we've made thus far we're gonna make more in the future we just haven't gotten around to doing that yes. i would like to make odorous arungus from guar as well i love guar i don't know if you guys love guar or not I changed my mind. Your Dexter Pop is my fave of the night. Oh, that's oh, awesome. Thank that you. is so cool. Heather Heather loves you for that. I do. I too. do. That's so nice of you guys. I really um, we, we worked hard on them, so it's we're we're just really proud of them, I think. Um <laughs> cuz I never thought that I could make anything that cool, but well, we, yeah. we, we won a contest with our Dexter and our Guar Pop. It was so cool. We did. So, Heather, um, I'm drinking, by the way, uh, Newcastle. That's what I was drinking uh, this evening. I don't know if you guys have that or drink, if you've had it before. My drink Love of it. choice, water. Always water. And it's it's Food Lion brand. <laughs> so, um, another thing that is Food Lion brand is the orange soda on Keenan and Kel. Oh, very Fun nice. Fact. Oh, hey, I didn't so, know that. Thanks, Heather. You know. That's so cool. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching all of our SDCC unboxing. Did I say enough C's? Yes. Or too many C's? No. Enough C's? Yeah. Okay. So, thank you for watching. We really uh, in enjoy time with you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, and thanks for giving us compliments, especially on Heather's Dexter. That's great. Heather um, Heather did a really good job on that Dexter. Hey, I told her thanks. it looks it looks like you bought it at the store. Wow. Guys, thank you. Remember, we hunt together. Yes. Uh, and also, remember to go over and check out sydneyasaurus.com or look up sydneyasaurus on Instagram. Yes, please do. Tons of awesome raffle prizes. Um, and you can simply donate directly to the Thomas family. Totally up to you. Um, it's a great cause and it would really mean a lot to them. That's right. Um, Absolutely. I mean, a lot. Big time. Yeah. Big time today. <laughs> Guys, we'll catch you on the flip side. We'll see you uh, this weekend when we do a new episode. Maybe you'll see us on Instagram if you're following us there. Come on. All right, guys. Peace out. Where's my mouse? Peace out. Well, see you later. Bye. Bye. That was weird.